the man I love, and we're lying in a bed of fresh roses while looking up at the sky, gazing at the aurora borealis. Stay here with me, and I'll make all your dreams come true. Hello there. I'm Carl Eckerman. You are the doctor's son. Please give me your hand. Come with me. Stay away from her! Huh? Zero, zero, nine! Stop! Don't you dare touch her, Carl! <sighs> Don't leave, or I'll shoot! No! <laughs> no! Get out of the way! <sighs> Sounds just like my son. She's dead. I killed her and I loved her so much. You only thought it was love, Carl. Huh? You can't force another person to love you. You know so much about virtual love, Carl, but so little about real love. All I wanted was to feel loved. Nothing else. I ask, is that so wrong? Loved, 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 loved. <laughs> what have I done? Carl, I'm sorry, son. I tried to do the right thing. Now I know I was wrong. Loved. Loved. What's that? Doctor. Hey? Eh? One of the Sphinx's primary memory cables exploded. <sighs> Carl, if I could hug you one last time. I should have taught Carl that people love with their hearts and their souls and that love doesn't come from some computer program. I was wrong to think that I could force all of my goals upon him. I should have been a better father to my only son, who barely knew the love of his own mother. And now the only thing that I'm left with is this useless city of Computopia, which is precisely what ruined the lives of me and my son. That's so sad. 